At five years old, Yumiela Dolkness awakens to the realization that she has memories from a previous life. A previous life in which she played a video game set in a world that is identical to the one she now finds herself living in. She also realizes that Yumiela Dolkness in that game was the villainess. And not just any old Otome game villainess, but even a hidden boss at the end of the game. You'd think this realization might make her have fear or make her think that, oh, this is going to be a bad fate that I need to escape. Heck no. Gamer instincts kick in. She decides she's going to go grind some levels so that she's so strong. Nobody's going to mess with her. Hello everybody and welcome to another light novel review, Justice R. Stone here, talking today about Villainous Level 99. I may be the hidden boss, but I'm not the demon lord. Uh, this one is written by Satori Tanabata, it's released officially in English by J Novel Club. There's currently five volumes available for this one in Japan. Uh, J Novel Club will be releasing the second volume, I guess, shortly. And this one is getting an anime adaptation as well. So of course I've given you the main setup of this right in the opening of the video. And really as the book progresses, I mean there's mention of a demon lord. So you kind of know that this is going to be one of those Otome games where the demon lord needs to be defeated. It just kind of carries on. It follows Yumiela as she goes into the academy as she's a teenager. She meets, of course, the love interests and the heroine from the game. And life proceeds and hilarity ensues. Now, I know most of you might be rolling your eyes because, let's face it, there's a ton of isekai. And really, actually, the villainous subgenre of isekai has been getting a lot of love and attention recently. But I'm going to be really honest with you. Maybe for good reason. I really liked this one. It, it was kind of refreshing in a lot of ways. First of all, of course, it has a enjoyable main character who is just that right level of denseness. <laughs> She's not quite as completely dense as, say, Katarina or as completely in her own head, but she obviously has two levels of misunderstandings. The first is that she has a hard time dealing with people in terms of how they feel about her. She kind of assumes that everybody feels generally the same way about her. They're afraid, or they want to take advantage of her situation and her power. Secondly, the one that actually is probably the most obvious and consistent thing throughout the book is that she doesn't quite realize that all the people that are living in this world don't see it as a game and therefore look at her like she's bonkers when she starts talking to them about what she has done to grind her level up to the top max of 99. This humor of course runs throughout the book, the misunderstandings, the Yubiella just kind of deciding that, eh, you know, we just gotta up the, uh, the danger factor here to get better results. <laughs> but what I really liked about this book and the thing that kind of set it aside for me from some other villainous type books that I've read is that even though there is a bit of comedy and stuff at Yumiela having misunderstandings about people's intentions or people's needs or desires, she actually is not like completely dense. She really actually has some very good insight into people and reads some people for absolute filth. And she just is able to kind of use some smarts about situations and about the people that she's dealing with. It makes it pretty satisfying that she isn't just a complete idiot who bumbles her way through everything or, you know, more likely muscles her way through everything. This also leads to a couple of surprisingly serious and poignant moments in the book, which... I have to admit, I really enjoyed, but really kind of, like, surprised me that they were existing in a relatively light-hearted comedic novel. 
One in particular, and it's not a spoiler, is when Yumiella, as she is now, has certain realizations about why perhaps Yumiella in the game was a certain way. Why perhaps she would have ended up as the final boss. She has that insight that perhaps that Yumiella, unlike herself, who has just decided to live like, you know, yeah, I can use dark magic. Yeah, I'm ridiculously powerful. Come at me, bruh. I mean, she just does not care. And she lives her life relatively peacefully. But she's like, I understand where the Yumiella in that game maybe didn't see things the way I do. And possibly it's because she wasn't as ridiculously strong as I am. And it really was kind of neat to see a character not just so hyper fixated on her situation within this game, if you will, but even having some level of idea of just how things could have been completely different for her or why perhaps Yumiella was completely different in the game. And even her own realizations that because she is so different than that game's Yumiella, that that's the reason why things are changing because she often notes just how much things have veered away from the storyline of the game. So overall, I really liked this one. It had a really good balance of that comedy, the action, like I said, even a couple of more serious and poignant moments. There was actually some nice little bits of writing in it that I really enjoyed. Uh, it, it, it was a really decent book. Uh, if you're looking now, of course, I don't know what the rest of the, the series is going to be like, but you know, if you're looking for a decent little isekai that's fun to read, but has a couple of little like nuggets that'll engage the gray matter just a little bit more or pull at those heartstrings a little bit. This might be a really good option. And to be honest with you, this first volume, it, it's a pretty satisfying read just by itself. Uh, you know, I, I'm having read it, I, I liked it enough that I may very well read more of it. But really, I, I could walk away from this series having read the first volume and feel pretty satisfied. Uh, so I don't know how that bodes for the second and later volumes, whether that means they're going to feel a little subpar because the author had intended this to be a one and done and wrote more because it was successful. I don't know that situation. Although having looked at the summary of the second volume, it does look like it's carrying on sort of some very natural threads that were placed in the first book. So they're at least carrying on some of the ideas that they had sort of thrown out about Yumiela's future. So yeah, overall, this one, Villainous Level 99, I recommend. And uh, you know what? Maybe we'll even check out the anime when it comes out. So thank you so much for watching this video and make sure that you give it a good old big old thumbs up. It does a lot to help the channel. I'd love it if you subscribed and you can see all of my future light novel reviews and uh, you know some other stuff that I've got coming on the channel as well. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Till then, bye bye for now.